This is Umar for Box Nation. We're at the final press conference for the Magnificent Seven card this Saturday, live on TNT Sports in Birmingham. And I'm with the man who's looking to steal the show, although Cash Alley is extremely confident. Has he uh, talked himself into a beating, Joe? Yeah, that it could well be. I think he's a good boxer, but he's going to get knocked out. Frank, uh, surprised with uh, Cash Alley's confidence at the press conference? It seems very confident. I took, I, I, you know, I, I may have met him in the past, I don't, I don't recall it, but he certainly does fancy the job, so he's uh, old Cash, Cash Alley, he's got to be, be ready. But if he's ready, he's going. So we'll see what happens. But it's a, it's a tough fight for him. It's a tough fight for Joe in some ways. But Joe knows he's got to win this fight because he wants to, you know, obviously wants to resurrect his career, get himself going again. He's capable of doing that. And this is, uh, for me, is a fight that I think he can, I feel he can make a statement, show that he, what he's all about. What was he referring to up there about a previous spa you've had? Do you have no recollection of that? Oh, no, I didn't. Um, like Initially, when I had the interview, I couldn't think, I couldn't think of it. But I did actually spar him in, in Stallard's Quite a few, quite uh, quite a few times. He's like, you know, he's got decent boxing ability, and we're going to see a good fight, I think, Saturday night. And I, uh, you know, I expect the best from him, and I, I'm going to, I expect the best to myself. And I think I'm better. I'm going to be a better. I'm a better fighter, and I, I deserve to be in with the top guys again, like in these big fights. So I need is it, you know, a must win. I need to knock him out and look good, and show everyone that I'm not. It's not time for retirement. Yeah. There was a lot of people suggesting that should happen after the two Zhang fights. You take that disrespectfully? Yeah, I'm disrespected. Now that's in that's in the past now. Like, and you know, it's easy to like make comments and stuff uh, when you're sitting in your armchair. But like, when you're actually in the gym and you're sparring and getting in the fights in front of the public and talking public speaking and that, it's not easy. But I can, you know, I believe in my abilities. And I, I believe I'm in, in the top level, and I've still got more to give to the sport and. I just haven't completed the mar mar my milestones yet. I mean, like I haven't got a world title yet, so I'm still hungry for that. And um, obviously, setting up my myself and my family's future uh, with, some of, with some of these big fights. Frank, we've seen the other Joe in Joe Parker, who this man knocked out, suffered a loss to him, and now he's right back at the top table. Well, that's the thing about, it. And, and I've got there's that situation, you know. As some of the people who, who, you know, who may have said that about Joe, they also said the same thing about AJ. And look how he's resurrected his career. He's, you know, these are big, big men. They're big, strong, powerful guys. One punch can change the whole dynamic of this merry-go-round of heavyweight boxing. You know, you've got to have, keep having the faith. One thing's for sure, everybody is active at the moment. They're all, all in fights. They're active. May the 18th is coming up. We're going to get the two undefeated best in the world fighting each other. Who's going to come through that? And whilst that, when that fight happens, everyone's going to be jostling to get into a position maybe to fight for the titles if they fragment or get a shot at the winner. So it's exciting times. And the only way you can get there, you've got to be a winning fighter. What about him and Parker again, maybe down the line? It's a great fight to make, isn't it? I'm sure Joe Parker would like to reverse the decision if he could and certainly as far as Joe's concerned I'm sure he'd have it every day of the week and Frank maybe him and Daniel Dubois as well it's another fight I mean they're all that's what I'm saying they're all good fights Daniel Dubois was you know some terrible things were said about him and look how he's got himself back in the swing again if you've got the determination you've got the skills you just and you can you know you get the right moment in time you can get yourself into a fantastic position in this heavyweight division. There is no doubt about it. And it's been proven time and time again over the last couple of years. Joe, fancy those two rematches? We love rematches as, as fight fans. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, excited to get this win, this next win. And then obviously that opens up the, the boundaries for like all these other fights at the top level and rematches can be made. And, you know, this is an exciting time with uh, plenty of opportunity for a heavyweight. And, um, I aim to get back in the mix and back at the top level and get a world title at the end of the day, some, some, somewhere down the line, hopefully. What did you think of uh, Daniel Dubois calling out Philip Bergovic? Yeah, I think that's a good fight. I'd like to see that. There's, like, there's plenty of good fights. That's what I'm saying. There's so many good heavyweight fighters right now. So, you know, it'd be silly to retire when there's so many big fights to be made still. 
might be uh, booking a flight to Riyadh soon, Joe. Look, it's, it, look, his future is in literally in both of his hands. That's his future, and it'll be determined on Saturday night. And of course, if he's in, if he comes through and does it in style, of course he can fight there. There's no doubt about that. Okay. Well, listen, Frank Warren, Joe Joyce. Appreciate your time on Box Nation. Best of luck this Saturday against Cash Ali. And then, as Frank said, uh, the future could be a bright one. But it's all on you. So uh, best of luck. We'll speak after the fight. It's two hands. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Don't, don't don't use them on Frank. <laughs> no, he wouldn't do that. We're mates. <laughs> <Yeah>. We're talking. <laughs> Thank you, guys.